Well, hello there. Welcome to not another episode of the Stratton Craft series, but another short tutorial on how to download the replay mod for Mac OS Mojave. No, sorry, we are not on Mojave, are we? Uh, what was it? Yes, it's called Man Mac OS Monterey. How stupid of me. So anyways, like I was saying, so in this episode, rather video, we are going to download the replay mod. So let's get right into it. So guys, we got to download three things for the replay mod to work. So the first thing is the replay mod itself. So depending on what version of Minecraft you are on, you got to download the respective version for the replay mod as well. So for example, I am playing the latest version of Minecraft, which is 1.17.1. Thus, I shall click the first download button. Now, they do uh, redirect you to a page full of ads. So don't click on anything. Just let it download. And now you can close the replay mod tab completely. Next, as you can see, we got to download the Fabric API. Now, make sure that you are in the files section of the fabric api download page on curseforge.com so link is in the description anyways it should take you to this page now over here you should take the third one because it has the most downloads so the time of making this video this has the most clearly so i would recommend that you take the one with the most downloads because this is going to be the one with the most stability so you can just click the download button and again uh, there it might redirect you to some pages full of ads so just don't click on anything and just wait for five seconds and you should have the fabric api downloaded now you can close that off now the last thing that we need to download is fabric now what is fabric well fabric is basically just you can think of it as a uh, a software that allows mod packs to be run on Minecraft. So we have two pillars really in the Minecraft community. One is Fabric and the other side is Forge. So a lot of new mods nowadays are not working with Forge because it's too large and it's really heavy. So that's why people have started using Fabric instead because it's a little light on the game as well. So you'll find a lot of mods that require Fabric nowadays. But most uh, popular mods usually have support for both but uh, most will still have support for fabric so to download fabric just click on the link in the description below it should take you to this page and just click on this and download installer and just like that you should have all your downloads ready to go okay guys so once you have three files in your downloads section of your computer you have to now double click on the fabric installer now this warning may come so this is the system basically trying to tell you that oh is it okay to open this file it's not safe is what the system feels so now to override this you got to left click and press open now you see the warning has changed there is still a warning but there is this open button now previously there was no open button so just click on open so it should load a dot jar file any second now so once this comes up you can just click install you don't really need to muddle around with all of this so just click on install and you're done so now you can close this off next I would uh, recommend that you do this on a new finder window so you want to go to this application support window but most of you might not have this in your recent file paths that you've gone to so instead i'll show you how to go there so first just get yourself a new finder window like so ignore all of this and then click on go and whilst holding the option key click on this new library icon here Okay, you have to hold the option key otherwise it will disappear next double click on application support and now you got to find minecraft now 
you can either scroll through and find minecraft or i would recommend that you just type in minecraft in the search bar over here make sure that you are searching in application support and as you can see minecraft is right here you can ignore all these files here double click on this minecraft file go to your mods folder now you got to find for this mods folder if it's not there you can just simply create a new mods folder make sure everything is lowercase so no capital letters double click and ideally it should be empty if you have any mod such as optifine or anything like that uh, it might be full but please be aware that optifine is not supported on fabric unless you have the optifabric mod installed so if you have optifine installed for your minecraft version please do make sure that you download optifabric as well for some reason optifabric does not work for me so i don't have it and thus i don't have my optifine as well which is a shame but regardless now what you got to do is so before that just get rid of this fabric installer because you don't want that in our mods that's already downloaded so you just select these two fabric api and replay mod and just drag it and drop it inside the mods folder so you can close both of them and you can open up minecraft the launcher at least so once the launcher has launched over here you want to go to your versions tab and you want to make sure that you have fabric loader enabled then just to make sure click on play and let minecraft load so it will be downloading some files so let it do that it will take a little bit longer than normal but it will happen so just wait so open up your search engine slash web browser and type in homebrew.sh so link is there down in the description as well and now what you got to do is just install homebrew so you copy this you know this piece of code like thing over here and then what you got to do is to open your terminal now to open terminal you can either do a spotlight search by pressing command and space and then typing in terminal or you can go the long way around by clicking on launch pad and going to other and you will find terminal here as well so open it up and it should look something like this so make sure terminal is active and just paste down the link that we copied earlier and hit the return button so now it's going to ask you for your passcode so it says the phrase checking for pseudo access so what you got to do is now enter your passcode that you would enter normally to unlock your mac now when you're typing the there is no cursor that is moving along okay just trust yourself you are typing and uh, just type out your passcode if you get it wrong maybe you can try, try again as well so i'm going to enter my passcode and press enter and you see some directories and all that are being created press return so just keep following the commands that it keeps uh, giving you so what it's doing now is it's downloading homebrew onto our system during the installation process it's just making sure that you're playing an active part so that's why it may ask you to press any random key most of the time it may ask you to press the return key so make sure that you're active throughout the whole process otherwise it may terminate now uh, this will take a little time so you have to bear with it so guys once homebrew is done installing you will get a page similar to this now you see these next steps over here right so homebrew is now asking us to initialize homebrew so what you got to do is you got to copy this command here Control c Control v click return and then you also want to copy the second command here and now homebrew should be installed on your system successfully 
So now we can finally get on to downloading an FFmpeg. So you want to type in these commands exactly. So brew install FFmpeg and press return. And now it shall start downloading the FFmpeg software as well. So now this usually takes longer than downloading homebrew itself. So this will take a lot of time. But make sure that again you are playing an active role in the downloading process because it may ask you to enter your passcode or your or you know maybe ask you to press the return key as well. So just don't leave it, otherwise the program may terminate. Okay guys, so FFmpeg has installed completely. So now you can launch the game. Make sure you're on fabric again. Keep checking if you're not on fabric, it will not work. So do make sure that you are on fabric. <laughs> we don't want this thing to not work, do we? If you come so far into the video, then I'm hoping you don't want it to. So guys, Minecraft has launched and let's get into a demo world just to see how the replay mod really is just to give you guys an idea of how it would feel so this is not a tutorial video on the replay mod so i'll not be explaining how to use the replay mod but i just want to give you guys an idea or a general view of how it will feel to you know play and whilst the replay mod is re recording in the background so as you guys can see Okay, the lag, so it's chunks are loading in. All right, yeah, it's better. It's, it's, oh no, it's it's becoming better, it's becoming better. Oh, wow, 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 okay. The lag is lag serious. You can see it's recording over there. So let's just you know, walk around a little bit here and there. And let's quit. Save and quit. So you don't need to stop the recording. So it'll do the recording on its own. So just click on done and it's done. And you can just double click. It's going to load the replay. And here is where you, okay, it's, it's lagging. Give it some time. And here is where you do your recording slash video editing. So this is how I would record my time lapses. I'll position it somewhere here and then just let it do the magic. So if you want to render this, you can just click on this render path, render camera path icon over here and it'll render, render in the whole video. So if you know how we installed the FFmpeg, right? So that helps in rendering the video out. So whatever edits you do, like camera movements and all, is all rendered by the FFmpeg. So it's an integral part to this puzzle. So then you, know, you can just exit replay and you're done. Guys, so that's all from this video. That's all from me also. Hopefully you would have installed the replay mod without any hassles, I hope. If you have any problems, please do mention them in the comment section down below. I will try my best to answer them to my technical knowledge and anyways guys so that's it from me um if you enjoyed this video do leave a like share and subscribe and also check out the stratton craft playlist link down in the description below and somewhere up there as well so guys see you in the next one good bye hey guys i just wanted to quickly apologize for the really choppy video recording of the minecraft section towards the end i really don't know what happened but Try to get to the bottom of it and hopefully by next week we should be all good. And I really do hope that you enjoyed this uh, video and do let me know your thoughts down in the comment section as well. And as always, feedback is welcome. Okay, so don't hesitate. Anyways, see you in the next one. Bye.